thanks to the presenting sponsors of No Huntsville. Visit the fret shop for all your stringed instrumental needs and head downtown to Old Town Beer Exchange for a variety of craft beer and wine. Support us by supporting them. All right, welcome back to another episode of No Huntsville. Let's thank our sponsors right off the bat. We have OTBX for great beer and wine, right? That's my favorite. I know it it's is. my favorite part. I know it is. And then also, of course, the Fret Shop for giving us some studio space to record our musical guests. Absolutely, they're Let's great. Let's get into our guests here today. Yeah, we are joined by Tony and Andrew yes. of Space Apps, Space Apps Challenge that's coming here to Huntsville mm -hmm. this that's year. Right. Yeah. And what's special about it this year, Tony? Oh my goodness, so we were selected as the main stage city for the International NASA Space Ops Challenge here in Huntsville. Which means this is the premier yes. location for, globally, for this whole thing, right? Yeah, that's Out right. of how many cities, how many locations? Last year there was 187 cities and 25,000 global participants. What was so. the uh, viewership of that you were mentioning before? Oh, well, you can't hold me to that, but... Um, millions. Millions. Tens, millions. Of Tens, millions. Of millions. Tens of millions. Tens of millions. That's incredible. That's like a really a stinking big deal. It's a lot of people. It's a it's a big deal. No pressure. All right. You got this. I know Andrew's got this. <laughs> we all got this. So tell us tell us a little bit because you guys live in you know the the hackathon tech world. What yeah. is Space Apps Challenge Hackathon? What does that entail? Sure. So it's uh, NASA runs this program internationally, and they have for seven or eight years. Yeah, 2012 was the first year. Yeah, so six, seven years. This will be the seventh year. Yep. If I'm doing math. I might not be doing math right. But anyway, so they run this event every single year. It's international. They, they come up with challenges, problem statements that are sitting on the shelf in their centers across the country. And they basically solicit solutions to them from the global innovation community. Mm -hmm. And it's a hackathon, which means that it's an innovation competition under a deadline, and there's prizes given out at the end. This will be the second year that Huntsville has participated. Now, will the That's teams awesome. know what the challenges are going to be, or they they oh, they know before going into the event that the, what, the, what the challenges are going to be? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have an idea, and they can kind of plan around prep. it. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Not a lot of time, though. How, what? Um, I don't know. They... Uh, they haven't said when they're going to release the challenges. Oh, okay. Um, so it, should be, okay. it should be any day now. Okay. Um, yeah. And you said there's different categories that they compete in, right? Mm -hmm. Are yeah. they the same categories every year for the most part? or This year is Earth and Space. Oh, there's a whole theme. Point. Right, there's okay, a theme gotcha. for it. Space. So there's the challenge. Exclamation point. I like <laughs> that. <laughs> yes. Not skip the exclamation point. <laughs> what were some of the challenges from years past? The, the categories, at least. Uh, categories. Um, Trying to remember. Uh, the one that I competed in before it was called uh rocket space fashion and design so it was like you know can you create something for the space station that is fashionable but also like functional as well so would that happen to be the one that you also won good segue <laughs> uh yeah. yeah he won in this comp this global competition only a handful of categories and your team won First yes. we're sitting next to a champion that's, is what i'm that's, really that's, trying, that's to trying to convey that's right tony that. is a champion um <laughs> Yeah, so in 2016 uh, was my first year that I found out about space apps, and uh, I was living in North Carolina at the time. Mm -hmm. Me and a couple friends got together, created a team, and we saw the challenge beforehand, worked on it a little bit beforehand, but spent a lot of time during that weekend, during the hackathon, doing it, and we created a, um, it was sort of like this big idea thing, but I think what captured captured everyone's attention was we used an old school Nintendo Power Glove as part of the solution, <laughs> and we hacked it and like made it all awesome and stuff. Oh yeah, and That's really uh, cool. and we won, and it was. Do you it was still amazing. have the glove? I do. Yep. It would have been cool to have. Yeah. It. I should have brought it. You didn't bring the glove. It's gonna. It's somewhere. I will. Yeah. I will definitely bring it to the hackathon. All right. Very That's good. Awesome. So let's talk about some dates around this, right? Because I don't think we mentioned those yet. Right. This is happening soon. So we have October nineteenth, twentieth, and the twenty-first. That's right. Right, mm -hmm. which is a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the Friday portion of it is mm -hmm. going to be a one-day conference where we're going to have keynote speakers and panelists. They should be some pretty interesting folks. I can't give away any secrets right now, but it's free. It's open to the public. We're going to have a bunch of exhibitors there, too. They're interested in meeting people that they could hire. They're also interested in showing off the technology that they are uh, developing um, as a company here in Huntsville. 
And then that evening on Friday, we're going to have multiple tracks of educational workshops available for, pe for people to participate in, kind of like the co-working nights that we do on Wednesday nights. Right. And those are going to be specifically targeted to people who want to participate in the innovation competition on Saturday and Sunday, but could use a little bit of ramping up to understand some of those tools that could be used, technical tools that could be used, or understanding the subject matter a little bit better. And that's okay. awesome. You said that it's like free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is, um, is there a price to compete? Nope. It's all free. So this is just a really incredible opportunity for those really innovative minds to get out there, have some fun coming up with solutions to whatever problems they present this year. Mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty neat, too, that there isn't that any barrier to entry. Did we talk about where it's at? I don't think so. It's at the Space and Rocket Center. It's at the Space that and makes Rocket sense. Center. So that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, why not? Yeah. So <laughs> if I had to guess, all of the all of the things are there, and also it's free to participate in. Nice. You can come to any portion of it. If you do compete in the actual competition locally, the prizes that we're giving out are ten thousand dollars in cash. Wow. wow, that's incredible. You have any ideas, Tom? Do, <laughs> Do you want to go no, enter? Man, I think terrible. we should. No, I think we would. We would fall on we our faces it. and it's no, nothing like no that. Way. But I, th I think one of the common misconceptions is I don't know how to code. I, I shouldn't compete. Right. There's there's places for coders. There's places for designers. There's places ah. places for artists and everything like that because hmm. only coding is like one sort of part of it, and um, not necessarily every challenge has to be about coding. Right. Okay. A lot of it uh, has to do with your presentation. So. Someone who's good at public speaking, um, someone who's good at you know putting together a PowerPoint, or someone who's good at like drawing. Uh, a good team has all of those people. Yep. Oh wow, that's Look awesome. That. So, it's yeah. not so you're just not the tech the minded. minded. You can totally do <laughs> space awesome. apps on Spell. <laughs> I think I'm going to come by and check it out no yeah, matter what because it seems awesome. like I mean, it, and plus the Space and Rocket Center. Why not go to over there? It's a, right. it's a really nice place. Yeah. Is it going to be the Davidson Center or just throughout the, the museum? It's going to be in the ETF on Friday okay. and Saturday, the educational training facility, okay. so that building right whenever you first get into their campus, and then awesome. we'll do our final presentations and awards in the Davidson Center. Awesome. So you guys are looking for volunteers. That's right. You guys are also looking for, obviously, more teams to be involved, right? Absolutely. So um, people out there, again, you don't have to be a coder. You can be a designer. You can be good, someone who's really good in PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, get it. you probably want to get a couple coders on your team, too, probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we can match people up too. So, oh, really? Yeah, even if you don't have a team and you just want to participate, we're going to have some time that's set aside nice. just to help people team. So team. where can people find more information about this yeah. whole thing? SpaceAppsHSB.com. We're looking at the site right now, yeah. so you can come here. You can see some, uh, some of the past, uh, some images uh, around the past events and stuff like that, right? Yes. And then uh, there's the volunteer, sign so sign up, and you can register all right there within that site. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's going to be a good time. This is really incredible. This is a big deal for Huntsville, yeah, and congratulations so yeah, to you guys I mean, man, for, yeah, for, for making that happen. Urban Engine, and you guys putting this together, it's pretty big. It's really just because Andrew's on the team. Well, I mean, when you have right. a winner on your side, like a champion. When, <laughs> like when you have people that have astronaut suits, just yeah. like hanging out, like we're going to get main stage. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> That's how that works. We, we welcome all nerds to the, to the hackathon. We need, <laughs> That's right. we need all the nerds. Calling all nerds. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Again, thank it's Space you. Apps Challenge, October 19th, 20th, and 21st. It's going to be great. It's going to be at the Space and Rocket Center. Come on down. Yeah. Get a team together. Be good at PowerPoint. Let's get this thing done, right? <laughs> Calling all PowerPoint wizards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks thank a lot, you. guys. If you like No Huntsville, you can listen to us on the go on your favorite podcasting platform. Find us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and Podbean for extended interviews and exclusive content.